we're going to be going over the live preview display on the DVR systems. Initially when you load up you will see a split screen display, in this case it is a 9 channel split as this is an 8 channel system. To navigate around this system it's a mix of left and right clicks. Right click will either bring up some uh, menu or will get you out of a menu that you were in. So you can see here you have your multiple view options. You have your view 1 channel, view 4 channels, 8 and 9. In order to go through single channel views you can click that or you can let's say you have a split and you want a full screen one of the cameras. If you double click on the camera it'll actually full screen it for you. To double click again will actually bring you back to the split screen view. The 8 channel view has a much larger picture as you can see here. The other pictures will be populated if you have different cameras. You can also move them around by clicking and dragging and this goes for every single display that you're in in this system. You can move your cameras around simply by dragging them. Now if you'd like to zoom in on this you can come up here and you'll actually see you have different options here. This little magnifying glass is your zoom button. So you would sit here and you can drag and draw a section of the camera that you'd like to zoom in on. And then you can hold down the left mouse button and drag around to see the image. Another option is to zoom in with the mouse wheel when you have the zoom icon clicked. Once again, you right click to get back out and right click again to get the main menu and switch to different views. There are a few other features at this top bar that I wanted to discuss. One of them is the instant playback feature. If you click this, it will take you back through the past couple of minutes. As you can see, the bar down here is indicative of the amount of time that has elapsed, and it will go through. This is great for if you had just seen something live and you just wanted to go back over it very quickly. Another function that we have up here is the record to USB. If you click this, you'll actually be able to record the video that you're seeing live directly to a USB drive. There is the snapshot feature. Clicking this will take a snapshot of the picture and save it to your DVR. And there is the audio feature. Now if you have a camera that has audio enabled with a microphone in it or a microphone attached to it, this will enable or disable the audio coming out from the DVR so that you can listen to it or turn it off.